The fate of two men accused of sexually assaulting a 24-year-old woman inside a College Street bar will soon be in the hands of a jury. After weeks of deliberations, the judge is today providing legal instructions to the men and women inside the university courthouse. And as we've been telling you, the details and images in the story are graphic and some may find them disturbing. The trial proceedings paint two very different pictures of what took place on a night in December 2016, where the alleged victim entered the College Street Bar. Her name is under a court-ordered publication ban, and we blurred her out in the security footage captured inside the bar. This video is at the heart of the case. She testified that she was drugged, confined, and raped for several hours. Earlier, the court heard she took multiple shots of whiskey with the accused, former bar owner Gavin McMillan and former manager Enzo de Jesus Carrasco. Both men testified that the sex was consensual and have pleaded not guilty to gang sexual assault, administering a stupefying drug and forcible confinement, with Carrasco also pleading not guilty to two additional charges of sexual assault. The question at the center of the case rests on consent, whether the alleged victim consented or had the capacity to consent to the sexual acts. In his testimony, McMillan claimed the alleged victim was articulate and wanted a threesome, with the defense also arguing that the complainant was flirting with Carrasco and had the ability to leave at any point. The Crown arguing that the video central to this trial shows a woman who becomes increasingly intoxicated and at some point loses consciousness during sexual activity. Both defense lawyers argued she had taken pills, assuring them she was fine, while the alleged victim says she became dizzy after she was given the drinks. The judge's instructions to the jury was about 350 pages long, and they've been inside the courtroom since about 11 a.m. this morning. Now, the jury is expected to go into the deliberations this evening, but that is always up to the discretion of the judge in front of the university courthouse. I'm Faisa Amin for City News.